Hello and welcome to Eagle Creek Outfitters. I'm Allie and this is Dan, here to explain everything to you about our pontoon boat rentals. If you follow our procedures, you should have a fun, safe time on the water. Before we can allow you onto the boat, we must conduct our rental walk around. So let's get started. The purpose of the walk around is to remove any liability for damages from us and yourselves. We will be covering the following. Damages like holes in seats and canopies, sufficient gas for rental period, and more. The captain's chairs have a weight limit of 250 pounds. Please do not lean back in the seats or you will break them. Before we can move on, we must show you how to properly secure your life jacket. Once your life jacket is on, buckle each strap and tighten each one to be snug. Please remember there is no swimming in the reservoir at any time. Now that you understand the preliminary procedures, we can allow you onto the boat. Kill switch must be attached to the driver at all times while boat is in motion. Do not sit on the front of the boat while the boat is in motion. This is dangerous and you will immediately forfeit your rental if seen by staff. Keep the front cable clipped while the boat is in motion. Do not tie, pull, or tow anything with the boat. It is illegal on this reservoir. No swimming is allowed in Eagle Creek Reservoir. There is no way to get back on the boat, and please do not move any of the docking lines. No smoking, no open flames, and no vaping. The gas tank is located near the driver, and this is dangerous. Here's the location of the fire extinguisher, first aid kit, extra paddle, throwable PFD, and the boathouse phone number in case of emergency. You must stay at least a football field length from all shorelines at cruising speed. Stay away from the point at the marina and do not cut across the corner, marked by the red buoy. Please note that the water is shallow near the point and you could run aground, causing damage to the propeller or beaching your boat. Do not linger in the yellow rowing lanes. You must treat the rowing lanes like a road. Look left and right for rowers, immediately cross, and do not run over the buoys. Watch water depth near shorelines and always look ahead of you one to 200 feet. You must be aware of submerged trees, rocks, debris, and buoys, and must drive slow around these objects. The pontoon boat is only allowed in the outlined area. This map is located on the boat for your reference. The white T is the north boundary for the pontoon boats. Do not go past the white T into the creek because the water is too shallow. When passing under a bridge, you must pass on the right hand side like when you drive on the road. Rick's Boatyard, Eagle Creek Sailing Club, and the dam are on the south side of the reservoir. Sailboats and non-motorized boats have the right of way, so do not pass in front of them go behind all boats. Now that we've gone over the basic rules of boating, we'll show you how to operate the pontoon. Always stay aware of your surroundings and remember, the slower you drive, the safer you'll be. Here is where the ignition and kill switch are located. The pontoon boat will only start when the throttle is in neutral. If there is an emergency, Engage the kill switch by pulling on the red cord. We will now show you how to use the throttle. Grip the red lever inward to shift into forward or reverse gears. Reverse gear should rarely be used and remember, reverse gear is not a brake. You must plan ahead to avoid running into anything. You must stop in neutral when shifting between forward and reverse gears. 
here is what 100% full throttle looks like. Now here is 80%. If you run the engine at full throttle, the motor will suck air and stall. It will be very hard to restart afterwards. When docking, travel at low speeds and use precaution. Drive past the dock and make a U-turn before approaching the dock. This gives our staff time to get ready to help you and dock safely. Remember to dock slowly. There is no brake. If the engine cuts off during operation or fails to restart, perform the following steps before calling the boathouse emergency line. Discontinue running the engine at 100% full throttle. Take off the gas tank cap located on the back of the boat to release any vapor and then secure it back into place. Pump the bulb on the gas line to prime the engine. Double check that the kill switch is engaged and the throttle is locked in the neutral position. If none of the above steps work, call the boathouse emergency line. If the engine runs but cuts off when you shift into gear, then something has become wrapped around the propeller. Discontinue use immediately and call our boathouse emergency line. Thank you for watching our pontoon boat procedures video. If you follow our guidelines, you should have a fun, safe time on the water.